hi guys good morning thank you for watching thank you for stopping by to all my subscribers i truly appreciate you all thank you so much for choosing my channel i invite you to share 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 of course for those of you that's still thinking about it please go into my check my playlist and check out my videos they are in order they are categorized even to those of you that have subscribed if you have just been milling through all 600 and something videos there's an easier way to find things and that's by going to my playlist and you will see everything all laid out where's the playlist some of you may ask the playlist and i'm not being insulting but there are some people who don't really understand how to navigate through youtube if you go to my channel you'll see little tabs and it will say videos playlists community things like that if you hit playlist then you'll find all the videos that I have um, I've done but they are categorized okay guys there's something I want to talk to you all about today and it's just in my spirit and this is this is one of them real talk <laughs> messages there are many of you you know I've done videos like this before but it's in my spirit to talk to you guys about this again today there are many of you that you are going through your life and you're going through the situations where you are like blaming yourself whether it's an intimate relationship a friendship you're with a person you were in this friendship you were around these people could be things in church and you are blaming yourself because they took advantage of you they did some things and then you just either you 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 acted out on them you end up cussing them out um, maybe you didn't even do that. You're just ashamed that you allowed yourself to go through so many changes with them and, you know, feeling like, you know, you have no pride left or just feeling down and depressed and disappointed in yourself. And I'm here to tell you, rise up out of that. Rise up out of that and definitely stop blaming yourself for people's bad behavior. If you went into that relationship, that that agreement that friendship you're always you're trying to be a good friend and that person took advantage of you uh, please don't spend your life trying to figure out oh why you didn't know sooner why you didn't get it the first the second the third how many times they did whatever to you and you know feeling bad about how you reacted to them if you ended up you know getting upset with them or you acted out of character god is saying get up and rise up out of that rise up out of that guys the past is a past and you're not going to be able to get god's best as long as you're still in the past and this is arlene telling you this right now stop blaming yourself your reactions the things that you did maybe you were out of character for a bit maybe you did and you said things you weren't supposed to do maybe you begged her begged him not to leave you whatever maybe you ended up learning how to cuss and carry on being in that per with that person or you find you reverted back to just your temper when you were in that relationship with a person that continued to disappoint and hurt you yes you were responsible for yourself and the things that you should have done but i'm here to tell you this you reacted that way and the things that you do is because you were with a person who was not trustworthy and a person who had shifty characteristics. And when you're with a person that lies all the time and when you're trying to have a relationship with a person that cheats on you all the time, when you're in a relationship with a person that is always, most of the time spent a lot of times telling you I'm sorry and repeating it. In other words, a person who has bad character, when you hang around garbage, I'm sorry to put it like that, when you hang around people who are, they, they live on this, they have this under the bridge mentality, they live in low places, they do, uh, they love grimy, they live in tunnels of deception. When they operate like that, when you try to stay with that type of person, your character is going to change. A person of low character is a person that tells you one thing today, does something else tomorrow, and promise you, promises you something else. A person of low character is someone who tells you some, tells you one thing today, does some, listen, tells you one thing today, does something else tomorrow, and promises you something else. That was from the late Dr. Miles Monroe. 
And that is true. Now you who have a pure heart and you love them, what you're going to do is you're going to follow behind them and trust them. And because your heart is pure towards them, you have not set up any defenses. You don't have a plan. You don't have any cutthroat uh, backup plans for them. So your heart is open. So when they hurt you, it dashes you completely. And in your hurt, you recoil in offense. You may scream. You may curse. You know, if you've made a mistake and curse, you may act out of character because you're wounded. If you look at an animal, if you wound an animal, an animal gets hurt and they get hit and you're trying to help them, they, they growl at you because they don't know if you're trying to hurt them. So what I'm saying to you is this, get out of that funk. You are with a bad person, okay? You are with somebody who is lost, lost, but nonetheless bad. You were with a liar. You were with a cheater. You were with someone who does not consider anyone else. So when you who have um, good intentions and pure intentions, when you stay in a relationship like that with a person who's cutting you, they jab you today. They use an ice pick tomorrow. They burn you tonight. They tell you sorry. Then tomorrow they're, they're doing something else to you. And this is emotionally. Some of you have experienced this stuff spiritually. You are going to change. But that's because you're becoming a reflection of who they are. So please, don't leave that relationship, that situation with, oh my gosh, I can't believe I did this. Oh, I'm a bad person because they tell you that. No, they're telling you that so that they can bring you down to this low level so they could feel better about what they have done and feel less guilt. As a matter of fact, if they even feel that. So move on from that. See who you are in Christ. Listen, if you sit in garbage, you're going to stink. Mm -hmm. If you go in a place where they smoke, you're going to come out smelling like smoke. You're not a smoker, but because you're around it, you're going to smell like it. And people are going to be like, oh. So what you need to do is get yourself clean in the presence of the Lord. Ask him to forgive you for what you've done. If you cussed him out, ask him to forgive you for that. Stop trying to go back to get answers as to why. Stop trying to go on their page. Stop trying to post things and, and tag friends that you know they know so they can see that you're doing good. Because you're not doing good if you're still doing that. Okay? Make yourself whole and clean in God's presence. He will change you. He will show you where you messed up at. And um, he will definitely, definitely help you to heal. And you're going to have to forgive them. That is absolutely important. But you forgive them with the help of Christ. All right? Don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Bye, guys.